There it stood, in all its wild beauty, a waving red banner in a carpet of green. It seemed to be saying, Goodbye, and don't worry, I'll be here always. Hearing a sniffling, I turned around. My three little sisters had started crying. Mama said something to Papa. I heard the jingle of the trace chains as they tightened in the single trees. Our wagon moved on. I have never been back to the Ozarks. All I have left are my dreams and memories, but if God is willing someday, I'd like to go back, back to those beautiful hills. I'd like to walk again on trails I walked in my boyhood days. Once again, I'd like to face a mountain breeze and smell the wonderful scent of the red buds and pawpaws in the dogwoods. With my hands, I'd like to caress the cool white bark of a sycamore. I'd like to take a walk far back in the flinty hills and search for a souvenir, an old double-bitted axe stuck deep in the side of a white oak tree. I know the handle has long since rotted away with time. Perhaps the rusty frame of a coal-oil lantern still hangs there on the blade. I'd like to see the old home place, the barn and the rail fences. I'd like to pause under the beautiful red oaks where my sisters and I played in our childhood. I'd like to walk up the hillside to the graves of my dogs. I'm sure the red fern has grown and has completely covered the two little mounds. I know it is still there, hiding its secret beneath those long red leaves but it wouldn't be hidden from me, for part of my life is buried there, too. Yes, I know it is still there, for in my heart I believe the legend of the sacred red fern.